So now that we have our base edit here, let's start to think about some other effects that we can we can add. So one thing that I love to do is to layer video. So so far we've gone over just how to sequence video. Here we have one video coming out and at one time leaving at another time. Like for example, the sunflower will come in at two seconds and 20 frames. What if we actually wanted the sunflower to blend with another layer? And so layer blending is really fun for me because it allows me to kind of superimpose one image over the next. And to do this, I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chameleon layer and I'm going to extend it by pulling on the edge of it right up to here. And so now it doesn't really look any different. The sunflower starts at the same point, but the chameleon layer is still on the layer under it. So by doing this, we're, we've kind of stacked the layers. And what I want to do is uh, I want to change the properties of the sunflower layer so that we can see through it to the layer below. So to do that, click the layer that you want to change. And up in the top right, you'll notice that there is an inspector button. When you click the inspector button, um, this gives you some more uh, options for changing the properties of any of the layers that you have. Uh, so when I click the sunflower, I can change the composite mode, the opacity, which is just like the transparency. Um, or I can change the size or zoom, position, rotation, pitch of the layer. And then there are some other more advanced options like cropping, stabilization, retime scaling. But for now, I want to just edit the uh, basic properties here. So I noticed with the sunflower layer video that it has some black bars at the top and the bottom. I want this white part of the video to take up the whole screen. So what I'm going to do is increase the zoom here by just clicking on the number and pulling it up. And then going up into composite mode and uh, changing the opacity. So if I do that, I can see through the sunflower layer now that the opacity is at like 50%. Um, and so I can see the uh, chameleon layer underneath it. So I'm going to bring the opacity all the way back up to 100. I'm going to change the composite mode. And now when I choose the add mode, I kind of get this really artistic effect where now I'm seeing portions of the chameleon layer in parts of the sunflower layer. And so what I like to do is just kind of go through here to the different composite modes and just kind of check them all out to see which one I like the best. That's trippy. That's cool. And so I just try to remember in my mind which ones um, I like the best. Linear dodge is cool. Luminosity is interesting. And I remember pen light was kind of the one. I like the colors that it made here. So one thing that I want to do here is that I want to maybe duplicate the sunflower. So I've got one sunflower layer here. If I hold the Alt key and pull upwards, it will create a copy of the sunflower above. So it's the same video, and so no, not much changes. I can turn this video layer off to see if there's any change. Change the blending mode there. Now I can see both sunflowers and kind of. This is a cool way to experiment with just the different looks that we've got going on here. I'm just going to leave it at darkened. Okay, so there's, there's no right or wrong way to do this. This is just uh, an exercise in experimentation. And I'm kind of freestyling this edit just on what I think looks good and what sounds good. So I'm sure when you try this, you'll have your own ideas as to what you think looks good and sounds good. And it's just about kind of building these different experiments on top of each other to get something that you like.